Hey, I'm Shelby Webb. Um, this next year is going to be my senior year in high school, believe it or not, because I can't. <laughs> um, I'm studying biology with a concentration in genetics, and my interests are in public health. Uh, so I'm currently interning at the Irish Osteoporosis Society. Um, it is in Dublin, which is fantastic. Um, and I learned about this internship through the Dublin Internship Program, which is in conjunction with a pro, uh, com an organization called USA, um, partnering with KU Study Abroad. So uh, the application process for that is a bit different than a local uh, internship. I applied through the KU Study Abroad program. Um, I was accepted to the program, and then after that, I met with a representative of USA. Um, she and I had a one-on-one -on -one interview where we assessed my interests, uh, figured out where I would really like to get some career experience in the sort of fields I was looking at. Um, so uh, it was really good in, um, it, it was really important for me to be open about the things I was interested in and the things I wasn't interested in. Um, because if I'm going to go all the way to Dublin, I don't really want to waste my time with something I'm not interested at all. So that interview was the most important part of it. Um, just because that was where they really got a fit for what kind of opportunities to be looking for me. After that interview, they took about a month, maybe a little over, to find a placement for me. Uh, they emailed me in late April and said, we have placed you with the Irish Osteoporosis Society. Um, I read over it. It seemed like it would give me really great opportunities to get uh, a good overview on what a health nonprofit is like. Um, and the thing about public health that's important is there's a global aspect of it that's absolutely crucial to understanding how public health works in systems. And so I, I thought that getting a global perspective on it through this sort of opportunity would be fantastic. So I immediately accepted. Um, it was a conditional acceptment because I had conditional acceptance because I had to first uh, take, I had to do an on-site interview with the supervisor just to make sure that um, she liked me. And fortunately there were no problems there. I started work that next week after I got in Dublin. So it was really exciting. Uh, my main responsibilities while here have been mostly administrative. Um, I've also got help out in promotional design capacities. Um, I have a limited knowledge of design programs, but that apparently qualifies me to make flyers for them. Um, so I've been able to do that and that's been fun. I've also been able to do some uh, research for them. I basically just read uh, scholarly articles and medical studies and just pick out really important information for patients to know about osteoporosis. Um, my biggest project has been doing a uh, data entry for a research report that they're working on. Um, and if that gets published, I'll get my name on it. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to have been a small part of that. Um, generally also, I just learned a lot about the disease. Uh, I learned how to be an advocate for it, an advocate for patients. Um, and that's something that I'll be able to not only take home that specific knowledge of osteoporosis with me, but also just that advocacy for patients. I'll be able to take that home with me, so that's really cool. Um, let's see. The best aspect of my internship was actually the people that I got to work with. I think that can make a huge difference in any experience. There were actually only two full-time staff members because they had suffered severe cuts uh, recently. And they were both so warm, welcoming, kind, just really the sweetest people that you've ever met. And being able to learn alongside them, be taught by them, it was wonderful. Um, I definitely wouldn't have traded that, that environment for anything because it was just a joy to come into work and be with those people. Um, and so my advice that I would give to any KU student who's considering an internship, absolutely do it. And if you can do it abroad, that's more power to you. Um, not only does it look great on resumes, it looks, it, it, it's incredible. You will never get an experience like this. You also have time to travel, uh, you'll meet new people, and you'll be able to expand your horizons significantly. So do it.